Hello and welcome back Super Mums. In today's video we're going to be looking at why it's essential to know what your priorities are and how you can go about finding them. As always please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums. Fun fact, did you know that the word priorities was never meant to be plural? It was only ever meant to be priority. We're meant to have one priority, that's it. That's it, priorities, plural, that's just a mess. But we live in a really busy, fast paced world with lots of demands and then you add motherhood into that and that's like a whole other like ball of chaos going on. Suddenly, it's very hard to pick that one priority. Living by our own priorities is what makes us a unique individual. And I firmly believe that being a unique individual is important to the bigger picture of life. Whether you're religious or not and believe in the whole of God's big plan or anything like that, I do, but this kind of goes, not beyond that because there's not really anything beyond God as far as I'm concerned, but kind of goes in line with that. And I found the best way of explaining this is saying that like the world and like existence is this giant jigsaw puzzle and we're all like a piece in the puzzle. And if we don't stay true to ourselves and our priorities, it kind of warps our jigsaw puzzle piece and then it doesn't fit in the big puzzle of life and it all goes a bit chaotic. We need to be that perfect puzzle piece and to be that perfect puzzle piece is being true to ourselves. As far as I'm concerned, that is what makes the world go round, is staying true to who you are. From a religious point of view, God made me who I am and he doesn't get things like that wrong. So I'm, I'm happy with sticking with who I am. And it's taken me years to get to this point. Years of doubting myself and not feeling wanted or good enough and many, many issues from lots of things like severe bullying and stuff. And it took like this massive like life altering event and realization for me to really evaluate my life and go through this whole process of what makes me happy and rah, 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 rah to discover that actually being myself is the best way forward. I feel complete as a person, which when you say it out loud is so obvious, so obvious, but hey, I wasn't doing it for a long time and I meet a lot of people that aren't doing it either. When we live a life by our own priorities, we have so much more passion and excitement and energy for life. Trying to achieve things that are in line with our priorities is a lot easier than trying to achieve things that we have no vested interest in. Trying to achieve a priority that isn't your own is incredibly draining. Not just the energy to do the thing, but the mental drain of knowing you're not moving forward in a direction you want to go. The first step in discovering your own priorities is to have a look at your values. Now, this is like a whole massive course thing video in itself, so I have done it up as a PDF free download that will be linked in the description. Once you know your values, you also need to know the end game. What do you really want your life to look like? Now, eventually going into specific details in this is awesome, but starting with at least some sort of general overview of how you want to be living, the kind of person you want to be, will be enough to help you start moving forward. It's then really looking at everything you bring into your life, physically, metaphorically, and asking yourself, is this in line with my values? Is this a priority? To quote one of my favorite books, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, is this sparking joy? And I don't just do that with physical things when I'm decluttering. I do that with like habits and people that want to be friends with me or that I'm considering I might like to be a friend with them or going to something, even if it's like a one day thing. For me, it has to spark joy for me to want to do it. I live by the rule of if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. And okay, so maybe that rubs some people up the wrong way sometimes, but I need to live true to myself. I'm expecting them to live true by, to themselves. That's right wording, isn't it? Yeah, I'm expecting them to live true to themselves. So they need to be accepting of the fact that I'm gonna live by my guidelines, by my rules and by my values and by my priorities. And I think that's what makes the world an awesome place. If they can't handle me living like that, then we're probably not meant to be friends and that's okay. I think another important thing to remember here is that we all have different priorities and different skills. I always joke that if every parent in a school joined the PTA, it would be an absolute disaster. 
because you never get anything done in a meeting. What you need is the people that prioritise doing something like the PTA. You need them in the PTA because they're going to have more energy and passion for doing it. Their skill set lies in the skills required to do something like that. Maybe that's not your bag, but you feel like you should do it. Well, I'm telling you now, go and volunteer to be an extra pair of hands at the event. You just have to turn up for a few hours without having to do the PTA and the PTA team will love you for it. I somehow ended up chairwoman of a PTA before I even had kids. Go figure, that's just such a sort of thing I end up doing. But yeah, ended up being chairwoman of PTA with no kids in the school, like I hadn't even given birth at this point. Having some extra pairs of hands that are like, we don't want to interfere with the meetings. We don't want to be involved in any of the planning or the execution months in advance, but we can totally rock up on the day and put chairs out and unfold tables. And I'm like, thank you, that's exactly what I needed. Maybe your skill set lies in there. Maybe your other commitments and other priorities only allow for a certain thing, but we all need those different bits. We need people in different roles in life. That's what makes life awesome, that we're all different. I hope this video has inspired you to start living a life more in line with your own priorities. So I would love you to stick down in the comments something that you're going to start cutting out of your life because it isn't in line with who you want to be. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.